my little valentines. Welcome back to the merriest place on the internet. We are going to decorate my valentines day tree today. I do it every year, so let's get cracking. I'm gonna start with the topper. I got these two foam hearts from Dollar Tree and I'm going to put them on the top with pipe cleaners. Yeah, I attach them with pipe cleaners. It's actually pretty simple. I just place them where I want them and then I attach them. Don't know why I felt the need to explain that further. Yeah, pipe cleaners, foam hearts, Dollar Tree. Tree topper, yes. Next, I'm going to add this sparkly valentine -y tinsel garland. It's tinsel, but you know, it's on a string, so it's like garland. Yeah. I'm just gonna loop round and round and then adjust everything. Make sure the spacing is even so that everything looks cute because it's got to be cute. And then I'm going to add this string of hearts. They are just little hearts on a string that get tangled super easily. It's a fun time to deal with them, but they always end up looking so cute. So I put them on the tree and we just, <laughs> see, big ol' knot. We just deal with it. They, they just get tangled, but they look so cute. And now it's time for some big red balls. Oh, such talent. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm just gonna put these in, tuck them in a little bit. They're not really gonna hang on the ends. I'm gonna squish them in there so that they can reflect some light and add a little dimension and pops of red and shiny fun. Now it's time for my paper valentines. I feel like I've talked a lot about paper valentines all of this valentine season. They look so good everywhere. And I love putting them in my tree because they're huge and they just scream Valentine's Day. And they're so cute and they're so easy to make a really fun activity to do with your kiddos. But yeah, I'm going to put in my big paper valentines everywhere. And then I'm going to switch this one and put it over here and put a different one in that spot because of some reason I had. Spoiler alert. Don't look at it if you don't want to see it. Sneak peek of the tree behind me. I just have to let you know that if you need a little Christmas magic or just seasonal decor, quick tips and inspiration, you can sign up for Sparkle Mail down in the description below. It's a weekly newsletter, happy and full of glitter, and I just like talking to you. Sparkle Mail. Email. Link down there. Thanks! Okay, now I'm gonna use these heart hangy down ornaments. They are technically cases for candy. You're supposed to put little candies in them, but they are the perfect tree ornament because they're see-through, so the light shines through them really pretty, and they're Valentine hearts, so they're perfect. What next, what next? Let's do the picks. These I also got from Dollar Tree. They are heart picks with little baby's breath, fake baby's breath, and tinsel sparkles on them. Now for the roses. I love to put a ton of red roses on my tree for Valentine's Day because they're so romantic. And I got a whole bunch. I even bought more this year because my tree's a little bigger than my Valentine's tree last year. So I needed more roses. So we're just gonna stuff bunches of roses just everywhere that I wanna put them. Oh, I'm such a professional. Where do I need more flowers? Right there, apparently. All right, let's move on to the individual rose buds. I got a lot. I basically just took a couple of those bunches last year, actually, and snipped off individual rose buds. Um, great tip if you want to put flowers in your tree, but you can't fit a big old bunch, snip them into individual flowers and then just put two or three in a place or just one in a place and see what works. These are kind of my perfect last finishing touch of a Valentine's tree. I told you. Roses everywhere. The last rose goes to my Valentine's Day tree. I don't even watch The Bachelor. Not that that's like some mark of superiority to anybody. I'm just saying it's funny that that was my reference when I really I don't even watch it. And it's all done!
that's my super cute Valentine's tree. I love how this thing turned out. I love love and I love my Valentine's Day tree. So glad I decided to do it on a white tree. It turned out better than I expected. Pretty colors everywhere. Pop, 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 pop. Not to toot my own horn, but toot. I just think it's cute and it's fun and it's full of love and hearts and happiness. Joy. For a little more Valentine fun and decorating, you can see my Valentine's Day tier trays right here. And I've got another seasonal decor video right down here. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Have a happy Valentine's Day. And until we meet again, sparkle on.